Hey what's up guys this is Henry Neal and you're welcome to my review of the Infinix 05 Pro 3 months after release. Thanks to Gearbest.com for providing me with this review copy of the Infinix 05 Pro. Gearbest is an online retailer for all things gadgets with unbeatable deals and prices. The Infinix 05 was launched in November of 2018 and that makes it officially about 3 months old. But how does the 05 hold up after this time? Should you consider getting one in 2018 and is the performance good enough for a daily driver? Well, let's dive in and take an in-depth look at the Infinix 05 Pro. The 05 is a big phone, a very big phone, and it sports an all-metal build with a decent design that is reminiscent of the Huawei Mate 10. I've got the black version here that is super cool. Just looking at it gives you the satisfaction of having a great looking phone. I even had a friend ask what phone is that just from seeing me hold and use the device. The 05 Pro has got a gold band that runs around the side of the phone. This gold contrasts against the matte black finish of the device and is for lack of a better word, sweet. I mean it's absolutely beautiful. You'd find this band around the fingerprint scanner as well and adds this subtle element of class to the device. For the physical features on the Infinix 05 Pro, we've got a SIM slot, great feeling tactile volume rocker buttons and a textured power button on the right of the device. These buttons feel very well built and have no creaking to them. The device also spots a USB type C, speaker grills, mic cutout and a 3.5mm earphone jack at the bottom. On the left we've got the micro SD card slot and we've got nothing to the top of the device. At the front of the Infinix 05 Pro, we're blessed with a huge 5.98 inch full HD display that comes at 1080p. It looks quite good and color representations are well calibrated. Although I would have preferred if it had the 18 by 9 aspect ratio, but nevertheless, you'll enjoy your day to day interactions with the screen. Movies will be immersive and Instagram and Facebook feeds on the screen will be a real time hogger. There's a caveat to the screen size, however, it's astronomically huge. So to all the people out there who have small hands, you may need to engage in some hand gymnastics to get used to this one. However, pairing this huge 1080p screen with a 4,350 mAh battery is a stroke of genius. And I'm really thankful to the engineering team at Infinix for this smart decision. This combination provides us with extended hours of screen on time. I'm talking about up to five hours of screen on time. And when you feel you have the need to recharge, Infinix has included a charger in the box that comes with your proprietary X-Charge technology that can take you from zero to 100% in just under two hours. Now, talking about what's included in the box, you have the usuals, a pair of earphones, a charging brick, a USB Type-C to a USB Type-A cable, a micro USB to a USB Type-C adapter, a rubber clear case, and the user manual. I'll give a quick rundown of the internal specs you have in the Infinix 05 Pro. With respect to connectivity, this phone comes with Bluetooth, it supports Wi-Fi on the 2.4 and 5 GHz spectrum, it supports WCDMA on bands 1 and 8, and it supports LTE on bands 1, 3, 7, 8, 20, 38, and 40. So if you live in Nigeria, this device will not work on Glow's 4G network, which is on band 28, but you'd be absolutely fine on Intel 9 Mobile, MTN and Airtel 4G networks. The device comes with a 2.6 GHz 8-core MediaTek CPU, 6 GB of RAM, 128 GB of internal storage for the Pro version and 64 for the regular, a 4350 mAh battery, Android 7.0 Nougat, a 16 megapixel front facing camera and a 12 megapixel wide angle and 13 megapixel telephoto dual camera setup at the back of the device. These specs all make for a very smooth experience in my day to day use of this device. It runs the XOS software atop Android 7.0 Nougat smoothly and handles gaming like a pro with hardly any lag. 
It also handles multitasking like it's nothing. I must say I'm really, really very impressed with this device. Let's talk cameras on the Infinix 05 Pro. The 05 features a 16 megapixel front facing camera that takes absolutely beautiful pictures. I mean, color representation on the pictures were above average with the camera occasionally getting overexposed. But however, selfie lovers will be mostly satisfied with the results from this camera. It comes with several modes, including beauty, normal and bokeh mode. Now the bokeh mode is where you have the blurry background that, to give you that um, really focused portrait shot of yourself. There are also options for wide selfie and time lapse on the front facing camera. There's also this neat feature where the camera goes to sleep when it's open but you're not actively using it which saves you battery life as well. On the back of the device we have a dual camera setup that features a 12 megapixel wide angle lens and a 13 megapixel telephoto lens. Camera results or picture results from the back of this device is absolutely beautiful. I mean, this is this was the selling point for this device. Infinix started this as a brilliant camera setup. It's a dual camera setup and it's absolutely brilliant. As you can see in the pictures scrolling on your screen, the pictures are vivid, they are sharp. I mean, they are absolutely brilliant. And I'm really impressed with what Infinix has done here. So, is it worth it getting the Infinix 05 Pro three months after launch and in 2018 with almost all devices having bezel-less and 18 by 9 aspect ratio displays? Well, I'll put it this way. If you like big screens with really great picture quality, if you like a huge 4,350 milliamp hour battery that charges really fast and gives you longer screen on time, if you like an insane amount of storage with the option for expansion, if you like a dual SIM setup and a camera setup that is just absolutely brilliant, do not sacrifice screen aesthetics for raw power and absolute joy you'd experience with using the Infinix 05. I wish though that this device came with some sort of water and dust resistance, but I may just be asking for too much. So for me, it's an absolute yes. I would buy this device any day, anytime, given the chance. On a scale of 1 to 10, I'd give this device an absolute 8. It's beautiful, it's big, it's bold, and it's brilliant. I'd like to give a shout out once again to Gearbest.com for providing me with this review copy of the Infinix 05 Pro. And as you know, Gearbest.com is your online store for all things gadgets. They offer amazing promos and great deals on devices and ship to anywhere in the world. The Infinix 05 Pro goes for just $290 on Gearbest.com and you can purchase the Infinix 05 Pro and other Infinix devices from Gearbest as well. Be rest assured, your package will be delivered to you anywhere in the world. I'll leave links in the description section so you can buy this device directly from Gearbest.com and if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. Thanks for watching this one guys and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.